Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of the video review of Transformers Age of Extinction Platinum Edition box set, Silver Knight Optimus Prime, and Grimlock. This time we'll be taking a look at Grimlock. Now Grimlock is the Transformers Fall of Cybertron mold that came out two years ago in a G1 repaint. So with chrome on his chest, the blue, red, and yellow details, and the more classic look, basically. The uh, head sculpt has not been changed. Um, I would have liked to have that scene. Seen. Had. Yeah, right. <laughs> had liked to seen that, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, accessory rise. He has sword, which is actually just a clear sword with black paint. And the black paint is already coming off. Just a warning. Black paint does scrape off, unfortunately. And a pink uh, shield, translucent shield. See, you can see my fingers. Mm -hmm. um, articulation wise, it is a ball joint of the head that is uh, very hard to move because the ball joint is chrome. He has a ratcheting shoulder in and out movement and really tight when you want to go, want it to go back. Ratchet here, ratchet in the elbows, the bicep swivel, and a wrist swivel. Oh, I can see the battery is dying. Alright, he has universal uh, joints here at the hip, he has a thigh swivel, ratcheting knee, and foot pivot because of transformation. So I'll go ahead quickly and get into the transformation. First you want to rotate this 90 degrees, flip this out and flip it. What is going on here? Flip that in. So I like to push that back just so it looks a little better. Put that on this side as well. There we go. Flip this in, close that back up. Then what you want to do is take the head, flip this out, clip it on, flip down this arm. This one is really loose, so it likes to pop off the ball joint. So it's being very careful. So you want to flip this down and just fiddle with it until it gets in under, like so, and then push it up. And the same over here, fiddle with it until it fits under, and there we go. Then the legs are a little wonky especially for my taste. So what you want to do is just flip out this and then kind of line it up so it's flush, like so. Do that on this side. There's clips in here that actually put the tail in, in, into place. Now there are grooves here. Let me see if you can see. There. And then you want to just fold these in so they stay into the groove and then just peg these together. It might take some doing here. Okay, so you just have to fiddle with it, and all of a sudden it all, it all line up, and you will end up with this. I present to you G1 Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Now, I like this figure. I like the robot mode. I'm not so sure about the dinosaur mode just because of his tail. The tail really bothers me. That's probably my only complaint. Oh, and then the chrome. Quickly, let me turn the lights off, because he does have his Fall Cybertron gimmick still in here. Oh, you hear the little bang, and that's me knocking the, the lights, and then... See? Roar. With an LED. So let me get the lights back on here. Boom. 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 Oh, there's quite a lot of boxes in here as well. So there we go. And compared to Optimus, I have him in a squat. He actually looks pretty good. Blame this Brian. Now, you can do the ongoing joke about Transformers Age of Extinction. 
I think every Age of Extinction fan knows what it is. Yup, he can ride Grimlock. There's no specific spot for this, but it is possible. Yeehaw! Grimlock, let's ride into battle. If you want to be ridiculous, you could give him this weapons, or give him Grimlock's weapons, which I am going to do, because it looks pretty funny. There we go. Mr. Blingamus Prime is riding G1 False Cybertron Grimlock. Yeah, that's all I gotta say today. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, two part video review. Um, don't forget to check out thefouge.com for your, all your daily forums and reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Peace.